Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Nacia's Go Spring Cup Grand Finals. Of course, St. Clair and Durham both taking one game apiece. St. Clair taking game number one. Now, moving on to game three itself. It's going to be Durham that wins the knife round. I think they've, they've won every single knife round so far. But now having to go on to, I believe that's on, that's attack for, uh, what is that? No. Yeah, attack for St. Clair. They get to do, to decide the tempo that they move at. But it's going to be the initial, um, initial pistol round where St. Clair decide to now actually do a split. Some going over towards mid, some going over towards B side itself. And Durham with only one member inside a market. Definitely surprising rotate coming through here from St. Clair as they completely clear out mid side and get on to B with literally no worries whatsoever. Durham half stacked over towards A, but it's going to be Sherze now with one onto Snooze. Jack, he does take down Cookie as well. Inside of market, there's two more. It's RTB. Well, one more. Getting on to the site is absolutely crucial for Durham, but it's going to be Jackie that takes down Shirze. Nice headshot coming through. Now in a 4v2 situation, Jackie having to do the absolute most, but it's going to be cool. Gamer on to onto Con Con. Jackie now with three for himself. And on the back side of the pit, it's just going to be Thrasher that gets taken down. Durham taking yet another uh, pistol round for themselves. Going to be honest, boys, my... Uh, Boys and girls, my uh, voice is completely shut, but I am absolutely trying my best. We're doing the absolute most here on the broadcast. Of course, the uh, Durham fans in the chat, I notice you guys completely. As your school did take down one. It's going to be Cool Gamer taking down the first frag of the round. And also, Jackie does get traded out, so this is huge so far for St. Clair. But Cool Gamer yet again coming up with it yet another kill for himself. It's going to be Zapper that takes down Bub 2, which is going to be on the entrance of A site. Also, Zapper taken down by the Scout. A little headshot going over towards him. Oh, Cookie taken down too. And it's just going to be Con Con on the bottom here. Of course, Valve, they added that little bench. Oh, and that's what helps out Con Con. Not expect that at all, but RTB is the last one remaining here on the site. Con Con, 9 HP. Having to get onto, onto uh, A is crucial. Does have the bomb for himself, but now with the rotate actually coming through, it's going to be RTB that decides to move over towards mid. Very slow last couple of seconds here of the round. As Con Con, 9 HP. All he has to do is shoot RTB twice. Twice or three times. Only problem here. Actually, RTB ended up switching out his weapon. He has the FAMAS now for himself. Now realizing where exactly the bomb is, having to rotate over towards the site is crucial. Con Con having to get up close and personal, but not too close where he can get completely mowed down in one shot. Realizes where his opponent is because of the amount of footsteps that we're going across. Now having to look over towards the bomb. Does see the back of the player. Oh, he peeks incorrectly. That's huge. Con Con clutching the round for his squad, and that's St. Clair one to one. Blue Winters, I suggest that you go to bed. I know you're going to see this five minutes <laughs> from now. You have to be up by 2 a.m. and it's 10. My goodness. Here you go. Durham now having to come back from that one round lost. And they're going to do so just by saving so that they can end up buying for next round. St. Clair, though, winning round number two is massive. But it's Jackie. Did not expect that at all. Thrasher loses the 1v1 to a pistol. Cannot ex you can't uh, you can't underestimate it, man. You cannot underestimate the pistols. Now it's two. Jackie getting flashed, but now goes out with the peak. Jackie getting headshot. He tried to do anything that he could. Can't exactly find it. Cool gamer now having the scout looking over towards apps, having to find his his opponents is the key goal. 
Because he does peek and can't exactly find anyone. Inside of mid, though, it's going to be Bub with the deagle shots. If he hit those, it would have been crazy. He did not. So now, oh, being able to get into snipers. St. Clair. Oh, my goodness. Cool gamer. What are you doing? Sure, gets taken down. But it's Cookie. And needs to get onto these sites. Cool gamer. Having a scout for himself. Tries to flick and hits a wall. But it's Bub now with two. Con Con, last one remaining inside the connector. Sprays correctly. And Bub has a deagle. Didn't exactly want to pick up any weapons for himself. He's in the back right corner. Gotta watch out for that. Con Con entering the site. No, has the bomb itself and gets shot in the back. Oh. Regardless, Durham able to come up by one round. Heading into round number four. Next round, it's gonna be a mid 1v1 that goes through Jackie with one Jackie actually with two. Oh, it's a pistol round. My bad. <laughs> I didn't see that. Pistols came through from St. Clair. They weren't able to long range it. Save round after save round. Durham had to save in the last one. St. Clair now having to save here in this one. Of course, some denial could come out. By denial, I mean denial of weapons so that the opponents have to buy. Zapper onto Bub is huge. RTB inside of Hell takes down one, now taking down two through the wood. Cookie with a couple deeg shots doesn't do any damage. It's unfortunate. But Durham definitely picking up the W's two rounds in a row. Durham up by two, now having to get onto these sites and just defend it to their hearts. Content. St. Clair having to do something because their attack patterns so far have not worked, but it's going to be a molly inside of apps. That definitely stops two. But Snooze taking down actually two for himself. One to the fire. Zapper trading that kill. That was now Cool Gamer is sitting onto the back of the site. Takes down Cookie. Looking onto the site itself. That was going to be Bub onto Sherze. Con Con also getting taken out. Four to one on Mirage. Durham. Durham Lords. Coming up absolutely massive here in this series. Quick Molly over towards back of A, A stairs. Chat, I'm just gonna give you the fair warning. If I ever say anything and you get offended, I'm sorry. When you solo cast, you literally forget everything that you say, so don't take it personally. Hey, going back into the game though, Zapper with one, two going into the side of Durham. And now the bomb itself has been planted. The St. Clair Saints having to defend the site with an op. But it's going to be Snooze that goes over towards the spawn. Taking down Thrasher with a headshot. Thrasher going to headshot level with the crouch RTB. Taking down Zapper. Con Con inside of this corner though takes down two. And that is St. Clair being absolutely annihilated. Five to one, Durham Lords in round seven have taken a lot of rounds in a row. Four rounds in a row for themselves. But now need to continue to be absolute monsters. Two, one, two being split across this map. Hong Kong with the, uh, with the op. Slow peeking inside of that area. Trying to check on the site. Over towards snipers would be huge. Thrasher, though, is blinded. Still tap firing onto connector. Sure is a top of mid. Looks over towards sniper's nest. Can't find anything. Amali over towards sniper's nest now. 
as Jackie having to play that op role for his team. Sitting on top of Ticket Booth. Ooh. Two, actually one, I think, going on to Tetris. Con Con inside of apps as well. Having a peek onto the site. RTB looking over towards Connector. But it's going to be Jackie, one for one trade. Zapper getting one Jackie. He's taking now two. RTB in the back. Oh, yeah, that was sick. RTB with two. That was insane. Just the discipline coming out of this player. Sure is a 1v2 situation. Realizes that two members are very, very low. Takes down one. Now sure is he being taken down. Has a four HP advantage over Snooze. 1v1. It's going to be Scherze that finishes off the round and wins it for St. Clair. It's the first round that St. Clair has won in four rounds. Five to two coming up in round number eight as the utility on both sides is in the green. St. Clair having a little bit more utility though. Couple flashbangs, couple smokes. Con Con completely deezed out in his own regard. <laughs> Ash for looking down mid to see if anyone really wants to run out. No one does though. It's gonna be Zapper with the aggressive defend. Bub holding the exact same angle as his counterpart as they're both kind of holding inside of the same area. Cool gamer looking over by connector. If he were to peek right now, I think if, if he were to peek literally at that moment, he would have seen Shurzay's head, but he didn't. Jackie holding inside a mid. He's got a scout for himself. Headshot. Nope. Body shot. Goes through. Shurzay taken down. Thrasher not backing up his ally. Cookie onto the site. Now Zapper getting taken down here as well. Cookie, Con Con, both are the last two remaining here of uh, the site itself. RTB onto Cookie. Con Con, last one remaining. 1v5. Get onto the site. Click heads if you can. He tried. Onto stairs. He cannot get the head itself. So now, Durham knows exactly where St. Clair is playing from. Con Con for Cool Gamer is the trade that they end up going out for, which is not a bad trade at the end of the day. Durham going up by four. Once again, St. Clair calls a timeout, and this is where True needs to bring his team together and just look for the strap book. Literally just look for uh, any sort of plays that you could be pulling out here because this is exactly where you need to do it. St. Clair have brought themselves to the finals, which is what we're watching right now. Durham have done the exact same thing, and Durham are showing right now that they are the better early game team in terms of closing out is where they really struggle. Ten seconds now, heading the clock here. St. Clair needs to decide on what they want to do. Both teams having one timeout remaining. All the strats coming through. St. Clair going on a save round as they only have 2k per person. Let's look to see what they try and do. Full on rush over towards what site? Nope, they actually split. Just kidding. It's a two, two, three split. Three going over towards A. We'll see if they can find anything with their pistols. Player number seven. I don't know who that is on St. Clair, but he's walking over towards B site. Now has to rotate back on over. Bub onto Con Con takes out one. Bub left at very low HP. RTB with two as two members of St. Clair actually run onto the site itself. Now it's just Cookie and Zapper inside of having its one. My goodness, Zapper having to clutch the, the round itself out. And maybe if he can get one more, definitely be worth for St. Clair. Nigh as many rounds as possible is what he's trying to think here. Reloading the AK was the plan. It's going to be cool that ends up jiggle peeking him. 
Dapper now having to watch both of his sides as he realizes that he has to 1v1 someone at this point. There you go. RTB taken down. He now has three more in his way. What can he find? Cool Gamer is going to be the next one to take the kill. Seven and two now coming through Durham. Once again, having to close out this match. It's exactly what they need need to uh, watch out for is that they don't want to fall behind at the half. They've got five, uh, technically six, because round ten actually counts as a, as a round. Six rounds to do so. Going up thirteen to two is the plan now of Durham. They can do that, then their half transition would be beautiful. But St. Clair still have taken two rounds, and the two rounds that they did take were really good. However, once again, Con Con pushing aggressively into mid means not great things, to say the least. Thrasher inside of Tetris looking for his next victim. Honestly, his first victim jumping over towards stairs. Cookie taken down to low HP. Thrasher taken down to nothing. Now is Zapper, sure is a RTB. All picking up kills for themselves here on A site. A site is getting very, very bloody. But it's going to be Cookie that immediately rush inside of hell. Doesn't find anyone. But it's three members remaining here for Durham. As now sure is a slow peeking. Fourth day. There you go. Last headshot goes through, and it's RTB with that headshot. Definitely coming up huge for his team, RTB. 14 and 5, as now Cool Gamer slowly trails behind him as well. Jockey, both of those members, they both were the oppers in the last game, having the exact same kills. 10 and a piece. And now looking over towards mid, Jackie with the good old trusty. Peaks mid. Quick shot, and then resets. Ooh, huge. Cool gamer. Headshot onto Scherze is exactly what they needed to continue their momentum in the round itself. Cool gamer now has 12 HP, but it's Con Con that gets onto the site. Two quick picks going through, and they do not have, or they do have the bomb actually game planted here on the site, but now it's a 3v3 situation. St. Clair could pull out their first round in such a long time, but it's going to be off the back of Jackie that allows them to get one RTB now with two, and it's Cookie versus the world. He's done it before. Multiple occasions in a row. Cookie with one. Headshot onto the bub. Over towards the market. There's two more. Jackie takes down Cookie. Back site. Cookie not able to clutch out the round, which is definitely unfortunate, but it's Durham taking yet another round, taking the score 9-2. to two. Full buys coming through from each of these squads. The utility level over on St. Clair is only good. Zapper leading the killing charge with the rest of his team with 11. Cookie, Thrasher, both with one, one apiece. They only have one kill each. One kill. I was going to say kills, but <laughs> not plural. Thrasher having to find, and Cookie having to find more picks if they want their team to succeed. They're only kind of being that utility source for the time being, which is what every single team needs. From what we've seen in the past, it's Con Con, a Zapper, as well as Cookie, that are kind of the main fraggers of each team, of each of these games. It's Sturze, though, that pulls out yet another kill. Sturze now with two. Huge for St. Clair. Ooh, there you go. RTB and Cool Gamer both fall. Whoa! That was a sweep. St. Clair have finally woken up on attack. First round in a long time. Very, very long time. Round number 13 coming through now, though. Cookie getting a second kill of the round. There you go. What we want to see. Jersey with 10. Zapper with, with 12, I think. The big thing we have to look at here is what do the Saints change up? They ended up doing differently. Right now, from what we see is they send 
A couple of members over towards mid, maybe with one or two refraggers. Now the rotates are coming through. Two members of the Saints going over towards A site. A couple going over towards B. The bomb itself going over towards B, which is the big thing we have to watch out for. Molly, just to distract a little bit of noise over by Van, is the big thing you have to watch out for. Shurze now with the peek onto the site, but Bob was definitely ready for it with the deal. Headshot going through. He flash onto the site itself just so that he can peek. Bob gets another one over on A, which is massive. And now it's Snooze in the corner, does drop down with the Deagle, goes one for one. Now it's Cookie Con Con having to clutch out here inside of Market RTB with a couple of shots. Now Jackie with the op takes out good old Trusty. Now on the site, Jackie has to come up huge. Cookie as well. Jackie, if he can hit this shot, it would mean that Cookie does not have the advantage to clutch the round, and that's exactly what happens. Even though it was a 3v1 situation, you have to admit that Cookie has, has fragged out in certain games, and that is why I was so scared. And why I said Jackie has to clutch. Now it's a completely, a completely new round. 10 to 3. We saw the half in all two games. Both games. Go 10-5 apiece. This could be the only game that St. Clair don't, but they still have that potential to do so. Usually when St. Clair switch sides, they start to come up really, really big. And it's what they're looking to do. Playing a very defensive T side, actually. Three members of St. Clair still holding on the outside of A. Not making themselves known. No utility thrown just yet. And no pushes on either side of the map. And he sure is with a peek into mid. Of course, he only has the Yaki. As of all, sure is with the quick rotation coming through. Over towards the mid side. Bob has to get the kill. Actually, that was Thr Thrasher, my bad. Thrasher has to win this 1v1 if he wants to open up the potential for his team. St. Clair being so incredibly patient, just driving out the clock. Making their opponents use all of the utility that they have. Now with 37 seconds remaining. St. Clair having to do something. There you go. Now the flashes and all of the mollies and all of the smokes go out onto the sites. And now Durham realizes the situation that they're in. But Bub not letting the pressure get to him as he looks inside of connector does take down thrasher which came in from underpass rtb now with another kill for himself sure does take down cool gamer jackie and sure is a one one a piece on the point but kirk cookie clutches up the point itself and it's gonna be jackie inside of the corner on top of ticket jackie gets headshotted now inside of connector it's gonna be snoozed that rotates over towards ct and needs to look for the clutch here Frag goes out, doesn't hit Snooze. Snooze on 100 HP. Cookie at 39. Cherise at 45. Cookie holding the close angle. Jiggle Peak comes out. Cookie does finish off the round. Takes down Snooze. Cookie actually with a, uh, I believe he got like three kills. Yeah, he got three kills there in the round. He was only on two. Ten to four. St. Clair, if they win this round, then this is literally a meme. Ten to five, forehead. <laughs> it needs to become a meme. Cool gamer with the deeg. Low peaking. Over towards the zone section. A huge spread coming out from St. Clair. Something that has definitely been working. And Claire winning two rounds since the timeout, which is more than they did. They had before. Well, they, not really. They had two wins before, but getting two more means that their hopes are slowly going. Up. There you go. But Jackie onto Thrasher is a completely different story. Picking up the uh, the M4 for himself, even on a save round, is massive. Durham now lining up is going to be a smoke that goes onto the site itself which does smoke out on top of the stairs but cool gamer is able to take out one even before the smoke was dropped and then had to back off molly goes onto the site itself rtb over towards a stairs does do some shots but it's going to be cool gamer and snooze that take the rounds at the half though it's going to be 11 to 4 a saint Clair trail behind by seven
Now with the switch of sides coming across, it's going to be Durham that have to close out this match. Five round wins. Whenever they want to do that, huge. St. Clair has it, um, <laughs> an insane mountain to climb. Uh, 12 rounds is what they have to win from this point on at any point. Take it to an overtime. Maybe even just close out the match if they can do it. It's going to be Shirze. It's on top of Cat. That does get shot out. He's only on 11 HP, but it's going to be Zapper. That goes one for one cookie now. A lot of snipers. Snooze taking down yet another player. On the side itself, it's going to be Jackie that plants down the bomb. Now has to peek around the corner. Jackie, headshot onto Con Con. Shirze having to look onto the site with Cookie. Shirze, 1 HP. Cookie, 79. Get onto the site and try your darndest. Bub, onto Shirze, takes him out. Cookie now in a 1v3. Realizes that there is one over by CT, one over by A stairs. Does not obviously want to save on a pistol, so it has to run it. Over towards Tetris, there is going to be one. Cookie now with a headshot onto one is going to take him out, but now inside of A stairs, does not take out the last one. Bub secures the round and takes Durham to a 12 to 4 lead. Round setup coming through here as now St. Clair having to <laughs> St. Clair having to uh, save in yet another round. Smoke goes out. Con Con though with the headshot which is massive. Jackie. And taken down. One of the star players over on this roster. RTB with the long <laughs> the long shots with the SMG. But it's going to be the bomb itself being planted onto the site. Market is the main focus. Snooze taking down Shirze. Snooze now with the potential of taking down a second one. But it's going to be Bub. There you go. Snooze with two. Bub with one. Cool gamer sitting inside of kitchen. <laughs> He's being so sneaky. Oh, that's not kitchen. My bad. I thought that was apps. It wasn't. It was market. Quick round. Quick, quick round. Durham Lords look like they could be taking the series if St. Clair literally doesn't switch something up right now. Durham are three rounds away. Bear do if I realize I, I I've recognized you. Or not recognize, I acknowledge you. Na 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 na. <laughs> Good old classic. Durham having to close this round out. Well, I guess well you're you're kind of in our territory, so we would be telling you goodbye. Like you wouldn't be telling us goodbye, like because you have to leave at the end. Anyways. It's all good. It's Thrasher and Shirze with two. St. Clair taking out two for themselves. Con Con over on B site. Oh, that's Shirze with three. Whoa! Clean sweep across the board as St. Clair taking down their opponents. Was that? That wasn't a save round from Durham. They had enough to buy. I'm pretty sure. A weird eco buy coming through here from Durham, as they're not all on the same page. Bub with a full, a full buy for himself. Jackie with a Galil. Snooze with a P90. <laughs> cool with a Deagle and R uh, RTB with a Deagle. It's not over yet, as Danner says in the chat, or implies in the chat is Cookie. Onto Snooze, it's one. 13 to 5 though. St. Clair have to pull out a crazy, crazy win streak if they want to stay in this match. And they already got one. That's exactly what you need to start your win streak. I'm Captain Obvious. The sky is blue. <laughs> Bob going through underpass looking for his opponents, which are going to be on B site. The bomb itself. Is going over towards B as well. Con Con having to solo hold this site is the only thing that could be detrimental to the squad. It's going to be one though as he tries to get a yet another headshot now through the actual uh, through the actual um, apps itself. He does take two down to low HP, which allowed Cookie to pick up a double kill for himself. Now it's Jackie versus Zapper. Zapper having a hundred HP. Jackie literally has to hit. All of the shots oh, over on the left side. 
to not peak the right angle. Durham Lords looking to take the grand finals here in this set. 14 to 5 now. Durham have to close out this match if they want anything to happen. Cookie. That doesn't work. Not on a full buy from each player round. Now getting onto the site, Durham clean sweeping their competition. It's all up to Zapper, and just as I say that, he gets taken down. Sure is a con con. Both having to get onto A site. Ah, oh, so unfortunate. They want to save. How do you save in a round like this? Oh, one for one trade goes down. Side of snipers. Hong Kong in the 1v4. Obviously has to save here. Wants to carry over his M4. Over to the next round. The prediction in chat five minutes ago by Blue Winters was 16 to 5 and now we're kind of living that type of reality where St. Clair literally have to win 10 rounds in a row plus overtime in order to take back the rain Durham are sitting in a spot where if they get one pick here it would be massive and just as I say that Cookie could have gotten one, but it's going to be Snooze that rushes down here in mid and takes out Scherze. Could have been last uh, Scherze's last game here in the Nace season itself. As now Con Con looking for the shots inside of the smoke, but Jackie predicts exactly where Con Con is. Now getting to the back of the site is going to be Durham. As they plant down the bomb itself onto B. Zapper now having to get onto the site is crucial. But it's going to be Snooze. Oh, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, Durham Lords. I've won the grand finals of the NACE CSGO Spring Cup. What a series we just watched. That was absolutely huge. Jersey topping off the leaderboard. 21 kills for Jackie. My goodness. 2.6 KDA for, for him. Crazy, crazy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the St. Clair broadcast. I'm sorry if I sounded a little bit... Uh, not monotone, but I seem toned down. More casual in the last game. My throat is killing me. That's what I get when I solo cast. But it's all good. Thank you guys for all tuning into the stream. All 34 of you. My goodness, the support is, is immense. This was so much fun. Fun. Um, thank you to our observer, Mike. Thank you to our stream director, Baker, for setting this all up. Thank you to our other stream director, Danners. That's in the chat as well. I don't think Yeti's in the chat, but thank you, Yeti, as well. Because he set up the stream for like an hour and a half before the stream started. Then I had to dip out. So, hey, everyone gets uh, congrats over here on the stream. Of course, myself, Daniel, the Save One Man. If you want to follow me at Saved Casting on Twitter, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I hope to see you next time for some more St. Clair action.